We said a while ago that HVAC mechanics, HVAC technicians have to be good plumbers, right? And the reason we have to be good plumbers is we've got heat exchangers and components, compressors and so forth, that, uh, that are moving refrigerant, but then we've got lines and hoses that are connecting all of those, right? So lines and hoses, hoses are made out of rubber and various components that make it very resistant to leak. <coughs> then lines are made out of aluminum or copper or, you know, light metals. And where they join, you know, we've got a coupling that, that connects those two together, right? But we need to be able to take these apart. So to, to disconnect these components, sometimes we'll have quick connect couplings. Quick connect couplings is, is a common way to connect the AC system. So the, the reason we have quick connect coupling is for ease of assembly. When you're building thousands and thousands of vehicles a day you know, or a year, you need to be able to do it quick and, and without too much pain. If you have lines that are bolted on with screws and fasteners, that's more effort it takes to create that, that vehicle. So a lot of times we'll have the quick connect couplings, and they, they, they work okay, but they're, they're a pretty constant leak point. So in order to get in and repair the, the O-rings that's in that joint there, you've got to be able to take them apart. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is a condenser, and its junction point is right here. That's where I'm going to separate it. it separates the condenser assembly from the hose assembly. So I need a tool. So what you'll have is, is a, a, a quick connect coupler tool. And they come in various colors and sizes. Typically there's going to be about four different sizes, four different colors. So we're going to try to decide which one we need. When we pick the right one, we've got to say, well, how am I going to apply this to the vehicle? So when I open this up, uh, it's got an opening to it, and one of the sides of the opening is going to have a little lip on it. And I want the lip facing the spring. So I find my lip, and it's going to face in toward the spring when I put it on the line. So I open it up, the lip is on this side, so I put it around here, and I slide it on, and you'll hear it click. Okay, it clicked. Once it clicks, then pull on the line. Once the line separates, you can take the tool off and you've got it removed, okay? So once this is removed, uh, if I'm going to service this line, I put a new line on, or if I'm going to service the condenser, I put the new condenser on, then I need to rejoin these two items. Whenever you are reassembling any part of the AC system, Use new O-rings and gaskets. Don't reuse your old O-rings and gaskets. Also, make sure that you use exactly the right size O-ring and gasket. It has to be perfect. It can't be just a little bit bigger. It can't be just a little bit smaller. It's got to be exact. Because there might be 400 PSI of pressure in this line at some point. So I want to make sure it's sealed exactly right. So I would take the old O-rings off, get a kit, or get the replacement O-rings and make sure they're exactly right, put those back on there. You want to put a little bit of lubricant on those O-rings, and then you can put this back together. Now you do not need the tool when you reassemble it. When you reassemble it with new O-rings, with lubricant, you just push it up in here and you wait until it clicks. So we push it together, hear it click. Once it clicks, don't take for granted that it's not going to come off. Pull on it. Make sure that it's secure because there might be 400 PSI in that joint in a day or two as this system is operating. Okay? So that's how you do it. Let's do it one more time. You have your tool. You've got you to decide which tool you need. If you use the wrong tool, it won't fit. So you may say, well, how do I know which one? You just got to look at it and see, that, like this one here is too small. If I, put, if I put it on here, it's not going to close up all the way. So it's too small. If I have exactly the right size, it's going to go on there 
and fit. And I use the side with the bevel on it, the side with the lip faces this spring. What I'm actually doing with this tool is I'm pushing the spring back out of the way. Okay? So the lip faces the spring, open it up, put it on here, then I engage the tool, you'll hear a snap. While you're pushing on it, you've got to pull on your line. If you let go of this, then the tool will jump back off. So you've got to push on that, pull on your line. Once the line separates, then you can take the tool off. You service your old rings. When you're done servicing your old rings, you put it back together, make it snap. You pull on it, make sure it's secure, and that junction is okay to go. All right? That's how to use these tools on a quick connect couple. Here's one that's a different size. This is an accumulator connected to a suction discharge hose. The joint is right here. This time I'm going to use the black quick connect tool, disconnect tool. So I open this guy up. I find the, the side with the bevel. The bevel faces the spring. So I slide it on here. I engage the tool. You hear it snap. Once it snaps, you pull the line apart, take the tool off, and you've got the line apart. After you service new O-rings, put lubricant on there, you snap it back together, wait for it to snap, pull on it to make sure it's secure. That's how you deal with quick connected couplers. A lot of manufacturers will have another bracket that goes over this after you've assembled it. That is a great idea because these things, you know, they're flexible and they can move and they'll, they'll leak on you a lot. So you always want to use new O-rings and if they have a bracket over it when you start it, Make sure you put the bracket back on there. That's just another level of mechanical bond that it has. Okay? Alright, so that's quick connection.